Tesla Model Y is the best selling electric car in the world, but is it the best electric car in the world? Now asking me or anybody else which electric car you should buy is like asking which girl on match.com you should marry. Uh, I don't know. Do you like tall girls, short girls, thick girls, thin girls, white girls, black girls? You get the idea. Basically, it depends on what you're looking for and in many cases, what you can afford. So let me tell you about great electric alternatives to the Tesla Model Y, and then you can decide for yourself which EV you would like to drive or which girl you want to marry, and we're gonna do it all right now. Welcome to E4 Electric First. Let's talk about the electric vehicle of the hour, the Model Y. As I mentioned, it is the best selling electric car in the world by far, selling about a million of these puppies so far with the range of up to 330 EPA miles or 531 WLTP kilometers starting at around $53,000 for the time being, both the range and especially the price can change at any time with Tesla. Now, many people think that Tesla is the only electric car out there, but there are actually 32 other similar EVs in size, price, and features just to the Model Y that are on the market right now or are going on sale this year in the US and Europe. So let's go over all of them and see if any of them tickle you fancy, but remember, the electric vehicle tax credit will be changing around throughout the year, so before buying the electric car you like, make sure it applies to you and the electric vehicle you're looking to buy before breaking your piggy bank. Let's start with the one that I drive every day, the Volkswagen ID4. After driving Teslas since 2012, I've decided I was done and moved on to other, less abusive relationships. Till this day, I believe that the ID4 is by far the best bang for your buck as far as EVs go, for way under $40,000 and now eligible for the $7,500 tax credit here in the US with a decent range. Plus, it comes with three years of free charging at Electrify America, by far the most generous deal for the price. I was one of the first ID4 owners here in the United States, snatching a first edition ID4. Now, you're probably wondering, what is the difference between a regular ID4 and a first edition ID4? Well, the first edition ID4 identifies as a pile of sh with multiple software issues, it continues to be a pain in my ass to the point of me staging a one-man protest at the Volkswagen's display at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas earlier this year. But the latest models with the newer software have been improved. A fancier and thus more expensive version of the ID4 in the same Volkswagen Group family is the Audi Q4 e-tron with similar range and dimensions but faster charging. It only gets two years of free charging with Electrify America and a discounted rate with Ionity in Europe. Not eligible for the tax credit here in the United States but but you could use the loophole that allows for it if leased. A little bit of a hack for you, at least for now. There is another reskinned ID4 from the Volkswagen Group family that is on sale in Europe only, the Škoda Enyaq IV, which does sound like a hangover drug you get after a night out in Vegas. Let's talk about the new slick caddy, the Lyric. It's no longer your grandpa's mobile, over 300 miles of range, but only sold in the United States for now. I'm assuming because this car does not yet come with the appropriate storage for your croissants. Well, damn it. N now I'm hungry. I love croissants. It comes with two years of free charging at EVGO stations or $1,500 credits towards the installation of a home charging station. Plus, it is the tax credit eligible. Chevy has got three Model Y alternatives this year, but hopefully some of them won't catch on fire like the Bolt. 
Only the time will tell. The Chevy Blazer EV with a pretty decent range and a price tag, but no tax credit or free charging. This one will also be sold in the US only. The Chevy Equinox EV with a promised affordable price tag of just $30,000 and much like the Blazer EV with no free charging or tax credit. US only. And of course, the old G, the Chevy Bolt EUV version, starting at only around $30,000 after the tax credit. The recall fix is already included in the new units, and it also comes with a $500 credit with EVGO or a $1,250 credit towards the home charger installation. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but using my fancy calculator watch, I can tell you that you should go with the one that's more than double of the other one. Yeah? Okay, let's talk about the EV that I think is the best alternative to the Model Y, and in my opinion, actually better. Can you guess what it is? I will tell you what it is in just a second, but before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Neo Charge. You can now charge two cars at the same time without spending a ton of money on rewiring your home. All you need is the smart splitter from Neo Charge. Get one today and use the discount code in the description of this video. And by Flow, always reliable, extremely durable. The Flow Home is a level 2 EV charging station designed to make your life Life easier and is compatible with any EV in North America. Learn more about the Flow Home at flow.com. All right, one of my most favorite crossovers in the alternatives to the Tesla Model Y is the Ford Mustang Mach E, starting under $40,000 with a tax credit the GT version, but not very impressive perks with charging networks. Looks gorgeous in most colors it comes in. Now let's talk about our South Korean friends with the sister brands Hyundai and Kia, which have quietly been making a big comeback with their electric vehicles. This has been a widely popular EV despite what I think are odd looks, the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Kind of like if Hyundai hired the Tesla Cybertruck designer and told him to listen to the disco music while working on the car. Nevertheless, impressive range with a reasonable price tag and most importantly, one of the fastest charging rates of 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes plus two years of free charging at Electrify America. Not to be outdone by its not-so-identical twin from the sister brand Kia, the Kia EV6, with very similar specs but only about 1,000 kilowatt hours of charging with Electrify America, which is good for about 3,000 miles but no tax credit for either EV. Now, I don't really get the design of this one either, but a lot of people think she pretty. Now, if you want the specs of both of these EVs above, but the gorgeous looks and three years of free charging at Electrify America, check out the Genesis GV60, which is essentially the same car, but it is skinned by Hyundai's luxury division this would be one of my top choices. Now, Kia and Hyundai are not strangers to making electric cars. As a matter of fact, these are their second generation of electric vehicles. Their first generation was so good that their latest versions are still being sold and are still very impressive. Originally premiered in 2017, the Hyundai Kona EV is a very affordable EV with the real-world range actually exceeding its EPA range, which is very rare. And the Kona EV's little sister, the Kia Niro EV that came out a year before that and also has an impressive over the EPA real world range. You can buy the first generation of both of these EVs used with some priced under $20,000. Indy 1 is the EV that not many people heard of and honestly, I didn't think they were going to make it until Foxconn has committed to manufacturing it. Foxconn is already making the electric pickup Endurance for the Lordstown Motors and will be making the second Fisker EV, the Pair. The Jaguar I-Pace has been around for a while. It is a beautiful crossover which hasn't been much in the news. 
Which is a good thing, because it hasn't had any major problems, mainly because it is manufactured not by the Jaguar, but by the world's biggest third-party car maker, Magna. Toyota has fired its CEO this year, even though his name is Toyota, because of his aggressive anti-EV attitude and the BZ4X was the result of that. It is a very average EV which had a horrible start having to pause its sales and recall all of the units made due to, and please don't think I'm joking, the wheels potentially coming off. It does come with a one year of free charging with EVgo network in the US. BZ4X's sister, the Subaru Solterra, is pretty much an identical car with the identical recall history, but this one comes with a $400 credit with EVgo, which can be substituted with a credit towards a home charger. The luxury division of Toyota, Lexus, is releasing two EVs that will be alternatives to the Tesla Model Y in 2023. The first one is the RZ with just as average specs as the BZ4X from Toyota, but with a higher sticker price, and the UX300E with even worse range, but a bit of a more reasonable price at least for a Lexus. Maserati is joining the party with their own EV called Gregale Folgore with a very much Toyota-like range, but still very much a Maserati-like price. Now, not too many people know this, but Mercedes has more electric vehicles on the road this year than any other single brand with seven. Yes, that snuck up on even me there are two Model Y alternatives. The first one is the EQA, which is only on sale in Europe, and the EQB at a pretty reasonable price and with two years of free charging at Electrify America here in the US. It's been over a decade since Nissan came out with their first electric vehicle, the Nissan Leaf, and its second EV is finally here after years of delay, and it is one of the better looking crossovers, in my opinion. It also comes with one year of free charging with EVgo. Volvo's owned Polestar 2 has done way better in sales than I thought, Polestar and Volvo electric cars user interface runs on the Android Automotive OS from Google, which is a huge advantage. Unfortunately, neither brand has taken the best part of it, the App Store, to the next level. The two EVs from Volvo that can both compete with the Model Y are the C40 Recharge and the XC40 Recharge, with pretty much identical specs and pricing, but one of them is styled sexier than the other. I'll let you decide which one. The newcomer from Vietnam, VinFast, an existing Vietnamese car maker, is bringing four EVs to the US by the end of 2023, but the first one that has already been released is the VF8. Now, I know this is weird, but the EPA and WLTP numbers have changed since the release of the car, and at this point, when I'm releasing this video, there is really no solid number that has been confirmed. The VF8 comes with three years of free charging at Electrify America or $1,200 towards your home charger installation. Now, let's talk about the Tesla Model Y alternatives that are only available in Europe. It's not a secret that Europe has made it much more attractive for car makers to sell their electric cars there and by attractive, I mean, they're required to do so. The BMW iX3 is a bit overpriced, especially with the iX on the market now. The DS3 Crossback is the car that Americans haven't heard of and probably never will, but it has definitely made this list. And look, a Jeep Avenger that is not coming to the United States, but I gotta say, it does look pretty slick. Then we got the Opel Mocha E. Uh, I'm curious to know what the E stands for. I'm sorry, I, I just couldn't resist. Then there is a Peugeot 2008, which I'm assuming was named after the last year they've hired anyone who was good at coming up with names of their brand's models. The range is disappointing as well. That's it. 
all 32 alternatives to the Tesla Model Y, let me know if you think that any of them are actually better than the Y or you think it should be the king of all electric cars for a while. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.